It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC South. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Houston Texans, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. We are just about 10 miles south of downtown. You get a look inside NRG Stadium in Houston, the home of the Texans. Set for a good one here in the AFC South. Glad you're on board with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, this always the division of opportunity. Can you get everything right and make a run here? Each team has had its little moment. And as we sit here in 2024, one more time. This is a division with a chance to make something happen. Yeah, what's so cool about this division, Mike, is it seems like it's changed hands year in and year out, especially here as of late. The surprise teams around the league the last couple seasons have been from the AFC South. A lot of that's been they haven't been the strongest. They're all trying to figure out their long-term quarterback play. But when you talk about optimism and hope, not only in the building but around the city, these teams in the AFC South they all think this is our year. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Jacksonville comes out with former number one overall pick. Trevor Lawrence, their quarterback, six foot six, tall and talented. Greg, hard to believe, already is season four for Lawrence after his days at Clemson. The Clemson product, he entered the league a couple years ago, Mike, as one of the best quarterback prospects we've seen really in the last decade. And it's easy to see why when you put on the tape, right, his physical skills, his arm strength, they jump out at you. But now, if he's ever going to reach that full potential, he has to start placing an emphasis on protecting the ball. Get rid of the bat. There's so much good in his game. Don't let it be overshadowed. That's been the biggest knock of his career. And if he can change that, the sky is the limit. Mike, this defense talked all week about the importance of coming out fast and starting this game the right way. And it's less about the loss of yards there on that first play and more about just setting the tone. Hey, we're going to be here all day. We're bringing it. And boy, did they And he is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. In motion comes Thomas. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Catch made right side by Thomas. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. I think it's so critical to start the game fast. I mean, you hear every coach and player harp on it in their press interviews and in their conferences. It's something that everybody stresses, but it's easier said than done. So I think for them to come out and face an early third down and be able to pick up a first and extend this possession, I think it goes a long way towards everybody on that sideline and in that huddle just taking a deep breath. Lawrence gives this one to ETN. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. This is how you drop your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. First and 10 now from the 36. They'll run it once more with ETN. He'll manage only a couple. That's Henry Toto on the tackle. second down throw for Lawrence finding his tight end Farrell and he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five the drag route we used to say this is day one install every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route especially for the tight end position and depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains he'll try and run for the first with ETN 
Well, we have an early decision here, Mike. How aggressive does this coach want to be on this fourth down try? I think you got to keep your offense out there. You have a prime opportunity to take the fight to them, extend this drive, and hopefully be able to come away with points. What a call on this opening drive. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Lawrence. That one on target to Davis. He's got it. And he's in. Gabe Davis. Touchdown, Jaguars. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Cam Little comes on now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Jaguars will take a 7-0 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, it's Damian Pierce. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Texans come out with the Rookie of the Year from last year in the NFL. C.J. Stroud, he was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State. Greg, a talented quarterback here. If there's going to be a poster child for just how flawed the pre-draft process can be at times, I think this guy's at the top. I mean, just think, last year, people are nitpicking him going into his rookie year. He can't do this. He can't do that. And what does he do? He comes out and has arguably the greatest rookie quarterback season in NFL history, not only bringing his franchise back to life, but really establishing himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the entire league. Tank Dell was the one he was looking for. And that will lead to a second down. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. And tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. Throwing on second down. Stroud. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. This is one of those throws where I don't think the risk is worth the reward. If you're going to throw the ball into tight coverage and take a chance, it better lead to a big gain. And in this case, a pretty modest pickup, considering that was a risky throw. From the gun, here's Stroud. And this ball incomplete on third down. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air, and we're going to have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The Jaguars offense ready now for their second drive. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. They'll give it to ETN to start this drive. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. Nice. 
from the shotgun. It's Lawrence. A pass complete to the tight end, Evan Ingram. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards, but do it after the catch. Here's third down and a few inches. Lawrence now. And that is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Christian Kirk. And that'll set up fourth down. This offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd. And even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. They're going to continue to be aggressive, especially through the air. And if they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes, it's going to go a long way to settle on themselves into this game. The Texans offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. the bootleg it's Stroud he's got his man that's Nico Collins and they will bring him down on the other side of midfield these crossing concepts are frequently used Mike throughout the entire game all across the league and what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs you run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch and it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game Here's first and ten. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. They go right back to Collins. He's got it again. Fifteen more on that connection. They're making it look easy. That's another first down. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike. How well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you guard him. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. Again, they'll give it to Mixon. And he'll be close to a first down. A gain of a couple as they mark him just short. You don't need much. It is third and inches. They'll try and run for this with Mixon. And he'll have it. He'll have it at the 16-yard line. First down picked up as the running game comes through. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. On first down, it's Stroud. That one, take it in. Take down. Touchdown, Texans. What separates the really good quarterbacks from everybody else in the National Football League, Mike, is not only ability to process, but the ability to process quickly under pressure. And I think that's exactly the case here. He's able to go through his progression, find his target in the end zone, and then deliver that ball on time, accurately, and the result is a touchdown. Now, Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Texans will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. We're 
well tied, seven apiece, and the kick's away. The return starts from the five. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Here comes the Jacksonville offense now, heading back onto the field. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. The drive begins with a carry from ETN. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. This offense has to be thrilled, Mike, with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter. Now as the rest of the game unfolds, everything in the game plan continues to open up. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Play action now. It's Lawrence. He runs with it. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. All even on the scoreboard. And more from Houston coming up in a moment. We'll come to the line now on second and two. To throw is Lawrence. Oh, no chance to get rid of that ball. Under a heavy rush, he goes down. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback, in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Now here's Lawrence. Now a screen set up for ETN. That screen goes for 12. And that's a first down. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard them one-on-one, -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And after plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. Open man is Davis. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Davis with a nice first down grab, and he's really developed into a good receiver, especially these last few seasons, going over 700 yards in each of the previous two. That level of consistency is one of the main reasons why the Jaguars made it a priority to go out and sign him in free agency. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up? And he's into the end zone. Evan Ingram. Touchdown, Jacksonville. We're seeing this so much all across the NFL, Mike, is the value placed on a receiver being able to turn into a runner after they're able to secure the catch. And sometimes it's easier said than done. But if you want to survive in this league as a wide receiver, you have to be able to make plays like this after the catch. And great job there by the quarterback being accurate. And great job by the receiver running after he makes the catch. Little on now for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Jaguars will move out to a 14-7 lead. Oh. 
The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Here's Pierce for the return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. Texans offense ready to get back at it. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. Dell motioning over. Off the play fake. Here's Stroud. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. On second down, Stroud. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Nico Collins was the intended receiver there. And it'll be third down. You know, it's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this was one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. Now he'll tuck it and run. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Great reaction by the defense. At first, Mike, it looked like there was enough room out there for the quarterback to pick this one up himself. But they were able to rally to the ball. And I think the officials are going to mark him just short. Here's Tommy Townsend now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Jaguars' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Here's Lawrence to throw. That caught by Davis. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page. And when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. Lawrence now on second down. He'll go left side here and complete this one. 14 yards on that pass play there. That's good for a Jaguar. First down. This is a great example, Mike, of just how effective it is when you're efficient on early downs throwing the ball. I mean, when you can pick up first downs without getting the third down, as the game unfolds, things just get easier and easier. Take what the defense is giving you. Don't force the ball downfield. When you can stay ahead of the chains without having to get to third and have it plays, that's when an offense is really firing. Second down and eight. Once again, it's ETN. And he's going to have the first down yard across the 50 to the 48. He's across the 48. Lawrence. That's taken in by Thomas. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Yeah. 
This run straight ahead for ETN. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. The offensive line doing a great job opening these run lanes. They have been there this entire first half. And I think if I'm this play caller, until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away, I think I'm just going to keep turning around and handing it to that guy. On first down, Lawrence. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. Davis going in motion. Quick throw, taken in. He'll be out of bounds, but after picking up the first down on a gain of seven. The timing of these RPO concepts, that's the entire key. Remember, Mike, different than the college game, these offensive linemen, they're blocking for the run, but if that ball gets pulled, the pass option of the play, they're not allowed downfield. In the college game, they get a three-yard window that they're allowed to be downfield even on a forward pass. That's not the rule in the NFL. These decisions have to be made quickly. If not, even after a good pickup, you could be coming back due to a flag. Two minutes remain here in this first half. Greg and I, back from Houston, in a moment. Second down, Lawrence. This one is pulled in. Are the feet in bounds? Yes. Gabe Davis. Touchdown, Jaguars. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. Here's Cam Little for the PAT. His kick is good, and the Jaguars will take a 21-7 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here's Pierce for the return. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin then. The Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. They'll begin with first and 10. Stroud. Back to the big ticket acquisition. Stefan Diggs. And he's down inside the 40 yard line. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw. And now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Set to go now on first and 10. Now, Stroud. That's caught. It's Joe Mixon. 
That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. A second down throw for Stroud. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Here's Stroud. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. Throwing on second down, Stroud. That's over the middle and caught by Collins. Here's a timeout, Houston. That's their second, as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining until halftime. Space getting tight here, down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. From the gun, here's Stroud. And he gets that one complete to Collins. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Jamie Fairbairn coming on to try the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Fairbairn's kick is good. And the Texans cut the deficit a bit. The new score is now 21 to 10. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well, you're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. Four seconds still to be played in this half as that one's away. Devin Duvernay going to bring it out of the end zone. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we reach halftime here, and the visiting Jaguars are out on top. As we'll send you over to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman standing by. He's got the EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports Studios and our halftime report. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. This taken in at the eight yard line. And their drive will begin at the 30 yard line. The Texans offense gonna have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They look to make some inroads here. They're down 21 to 10 in this one as they come up on a first down. play action Stroud 
Open man downfield. It's Nico Collins. And it'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. You only get a one-yard buffer from the line of scrimmage for these old linemen. That time he strayed a little too Still far, and it draws the flag. On first down, they'll start with Mixon. And he's got some space. Up past the 30 to about the 32-yard line. A pickup of seven. They'll go right back to Mixon. Mixon has the first down and more. And he'll be brought down, but what a run. Down to the 40. First down pickup by Mixon, and he's one of the Texans' many additions this offseason. It's pretty incredible to think, Mike, in only his second year as the head coach, the roster that D'Amico Ryans continues to assemble. Not only is Mixon still a productive back in his own right, but he should take a lot of pressure off C.J. Stroud. Stroud to throw here on first down. He'll get this over the middle to Diggs. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes gets the ball out of his hand and results in a completion. Second down, here's a run, and here's Mixon. And he'll work his way for about four yards. And that's good enough for a first down. It's possible they could have tried to be a little bit more aggressive on second down, knowing they had third and inches in their back pocket. But I don't think anyone's going to complain. Pick up the first down, extend the drive, see if you can go score. On first down, they keep it on the ground, and they keep it with Mixon. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. Here's Mixon. And they'll stop it. At least it's an improvement over the last play. They're not losing yardage, but it didn't gain any here. And now it's going to be third down. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings them right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game. Stroud to throw. We'll set up the screen here with Dell. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. They'll run for it with Mixon. And he's going to have a Texans first down. They managed to convert. That'll keep the drive alive. This is a little bit of a tough spot for a play caller, Mike. Fourth down, is it close enough that I can run the ball? Is it far enough that I have to risk a pass? That took some courage to call a run play. And fortunate for them, they're able to celebrate after. On first down, it's Stroud. Trying the right side, taken in by Collins. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Second and a yard. Here is Cam Akers for the first time. And he will score. 
used to. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense, let them build on that previous drive, because they've still got some work to do. Stroud comes to the line. The Texans going for two. The Texans will line up for the two-point conversion. They look to run with Mixon. Trying to push the pile forward. He didn't even get to the one-yard line. They stop him short. No game. I don't love the call. I mean, you all week you practice these gotta have it plays. Every call sheet, Mike, has three or four plays that are down here in the goal line that could also be used as two-point plays. I think to simply turn it around and just hand the ball to your running back, gotta be a little bit more creative. That's a big missed opportunity. And so after the touchdown, here's Fairbear to kick it off. A return now from the four. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. There's Trevor Lawrence as he and the Jaguars get set for their next drive. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. In motion comes Thomas. Lawrence now to throw on first down. That, oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. But this is taken in by a teammate. They get 11 and quickly pick up a first down. I feel like we see this so often, Mike, especially with how good these receivers are after the catch. They're so eager to pick up that extra yardage. Sometimes they don't completely put the ball away, and with how good these defenders are at knocking it loose. Pretty fortunate on that one. His teammate was there to prevent that from being a turnover. Evan Ingram, the intended target. It's second down. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think. Here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. Play action now. It's Lawrence. Hit as he throws, and it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. He's got his man. It's complete to Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. A big play for Jacksonville. 36 yards. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike. And, of course, that's a given. But it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And... I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. He had two touchdowns earlier, looking to see what he can do here in this second half. That grab gets them a first down. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why think about it Mike sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there and that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs
Now Lawrence on the bootleg. That is caught by the tight end. Brenton Strange. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. Extra point by Little is good. And the Jaguars will extend this third quarter lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here's Pierce for the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Texans offense and running back Joe Mixon heading out onto the field. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. to throw Stroud that's into the hands of Dell on the right side the drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation he did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open they'll work now on second and four from the shotgun CJ Stroud that's into the hands of Diggs and they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. On third down, here's a run by Mixon. And that'll move the sticks. First down, up to the 40. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. On the give, this is Mixon. He makes one man miss, but stop quickly as they hold him to a gain of one. Here's second and nine. Stroud going to set up the throw. He'll push this one downfield, looking for Schultz. And he'll be marked down at the 15-yard line. So three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Touchdown, Texans. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. 
gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance, but can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Now Fairbairn for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Texans have cut the deficit to five. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So, he'll take over at the 30-yard line. The Jaguars offense and Trevor Lawrence set to take over once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. First and ten. Lawrence gives this one to ETN. Lots of space past the 45. That's a gain of 19 and a very quick first down. Fourth quarter, you find yourself protecting a one-possession lead. It's a fine line, Mike, between do I keep the ball on the ground, continue to work the clock, or stay aggressive, try to extend this lead to a multiple possession game. That's the balance this play caller is dealing with right now. On first and ten, Lawrence. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. They'll come up on a second down and eight. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. His throw left side, taken in by Kirk. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. That one on target with Kirk. They've got it. 18 yards on the catch and run will move the chains. So this is a part of the game that everybody works on, Mike. They call it four-minute offense, and you don't necessarily have to have four minutes on the clock, but the whole idea is we possess the ball late in the fourth quarter with the lead. The goal is we want to end the game with the ball. So that third down conversion is going to go a long way. Protect the ball, continue to pick up first downs. If they do that, I don't even think their opponent sees the ball again. And that one is closed down in the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense, understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Third and long. To throw is Lawrence. He'll try to run for it. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. 
And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. And this one right down the middle. It's good. A big three points as they extend their fourth quarter lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Pierce for the return. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The home team's offense and their running back set to go once more. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Stroud going to tuck this one on the zone read. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. You know, Mike, early in my time in Carolina, we were kind of on the forefront of this NFL zone read revolution. Cam Newton, one of the best to ever do it. I have seen up close and personal, when you run the zone read the right way, it is a nightmare for a defense to defend. They'll stick to the ground. And he will have the first down. Not a huge run, but enough to move the chains. Here's Stroud. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And a good run there. Finds the lane. Gets forward. Got eight yards and sets up a much more manageable third and two. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in him. They'll run here. And he's going to be close to that first down. Looks like he made it past the yellow line. Yes, he did. It is indeed a first down. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance. But I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough. And they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. Off the play fake. Here's Stroud. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. He might have a new name on the back of his uniform. Remember, Mike, back in July, he went from Allen to wanting to be referred to by Heinz Allen. But with all that being said, he is still the same dynamic pass rusher he has always been. And he is a handful for any offensive line. And this time, he gets in there for a sack. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. Here's Stroud. Oh, a lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. They just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, 
there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. Now a deep ball here for Collins. That one is batted away. Incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. The Jags offense ready to get back at it. This will begin at their own 13-yard line. So work to do starting with this first and 10. Lawrence going to keep this himself. And he'll take this forward for about five. Good decision by the quarterback. In this situation, all you're looking to do is have a positive play. He decides to pull it, and that's exactly what he's able to do. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. On the handoff, it's ETN. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. So, first and 10 now from the 30. They'll run it once more with ETN. And he'll be brought down at the 32 after a short pickup. And quickly, the clock stops again. Defense taking the timeout. A buck 54 to go. <laughs> On the draw, the give to ETN. And he will get forward for about five yards. That sets up third down. They'll try and run for the first with ETN. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. Hunting unit comes on, Jaguars will kick it away. And he's on to punt for just the second time in this game. He'll be brought down, short return, and they'll take over there. The home team's offense ready to come back out for this next possession. The deficit is eight, as this drive begins with first and ten. They'll drop to throw. To the left side, and caught by Schultz. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. On second down, Stroud. will take this one in 73 yards touchdown Houston 
What a finish there to get the touchdown, but of course the job's not done, and this is where the defense needs to regroup, Mike. It's one thing to give up the touchdown, but now you're still one stop away from being the hero. They gotta dial in, get their best defense called, and somehow find a way to keep them out of the end zone. Now a big spot here for the Texans, as they'll try for two. The Texans will line up for the two-point From the gun, here's Stroud. Oh, a loose football. And the defense has it. That decision to go for two was made up from the very beginning. The moment they scored, you could see the head coach. He's signaling, we're going for two. The touchdown was obviously a disappointing outcome defensively, but to able to get that stop, they can at least come off the field and catch their breath. The timeouts are gone, so this becomes a must. They're going to line up for the onside kick. With the rule changes on kickoff, Mike, it's just so hard to really expect to recover an onside kick nowadays. There's a lot of people pushing for kind of a radical change to this. Hey, can we make it fourth and 15? Offense gets the go. If they convert it, they keep the ball. I'm not sure that ever happens, but we can see here an onside kick, not much of a chance. The visitor's offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They'll have a short field looking to build on the lead. They'll come up here first and 10. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. So it is a win for our visitors, the Jaguars. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL.